Now, find me someone who doesn't enjoy a good improv, and I'll be sure surprised. Improv is unlike any talent in the world because nobody knows what's going to happen until after the show is done. That's right, no scripts here, just a group of clever and talented actors who are making things up as they go along. The best thing you can do is buckle your comedy seatbelt and go along for the ride. Fish, fish, baloney time. Oh, just kidding. That was just a little improv, but let's leave this improv to the experts. Here's Den Club with an improvised scene. Hi, guys. We are the Den Club. Um, can we please get a suggestion of you from a location that three people could easily share? So, um, like a bowling alley. Bowling alley, yeah. Bowling alley. That sounds great. Thank you. Bowling alley. I'm not going to sit down until I get this strike, guys. Well, well, do it. Do it. I want to go home. We've been here for 14 hours. <sighs> I can't. I feel like the whole world's like watching. They are. <laughs> you guys. Um, Cheryl, I, you can do this. Seriously, you. how many strikes have you gotten in your life? I've probably gotten around two. Um, but yeah, it's time for a change. It's time for me to step up. Okay. It's league night. We really have to leave. I need my babysitter has homework. <sighs> Guys, if I don't do this, I feel like I'm not gonna like. Cheryl, step up okay, to the plate. Okay. Step up to okay, the plate okay, and roll that okay. ball down the alley. All right. Shh. And if it's anything other than the strike, I will never forgive you. Do you understand me? I mean, you act I like got really strong. I can just pick up balls with one hand now. Look. Okay. Your sister is... A Cheryl, stop. Stop. You want me to stop? Stop. I was just getting into no, no, it. No. You're freaking me out, man. What are you afraid of? Because... God, lots of acceptance, social rejection, socialism. I'm afraid of a lot of things. Well, okay? you pretend all those things are those pins down there and run them over. I would run from them if they were actually right there. I'm just thinking maybe if we can resolve some of your internal issues, get those things out of your head, just clear out the cobwebs, you can roll that strike. So what, like, mom and dad love you, I love you, I'm Claire loves you. You love me? Getting there. Claire. I'm, I'm sorry about there. what happened. I don't even know her that well. I... I almost ran into her this morning in the intersection of North and Clybourne, but she seems really amiable. Well, your team, your teammates now, all right? Okay. So just and soon to be sister mates. After the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Can you guys cue me up a little bit? Like Can you give me some beat? Cheryl! Yeah! What? 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 I'm gonna be a motivational speaker because I did that. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted you to miss. Wait a minute. I wanted her to miss. Third strike lifetime. That's awesome. What? I'm gonna bust out of Peoria, man. I'm I'm leaving forever. I can go to the big leagues now, huh? Well, I don't know <laughs> about that, but yeah, like we, we'll, you know, we'll still work on some of those issues, and you'll probably get another strike sometime. But you guys, what you you don't want to like take this out of like the burbs and like? Well, I'm just a little. I mean, just nervous like about, there's one strike. Yeah. Yeah, but like that's all we needed. Like I have a kid. Uh, am I just supposed to uproot my child from their entire yeah. life so that you can take bowling out of Peoria? Let me tell you something. As somebody who grew up here, joined a bowling league, no kid. Oh no, excuse me. No kid wants to grow up and do anything like in Peoria. Like it's probably better if you just move them to Chicago. No one ever I'm wants to do anything. I'm staying in here. Peoria. Right. I'm staying here. That's, you guys. That's it. That's it. I'm staying here. Okay, I'm feeling really a lot, a lot of resistance to this. Pure, we had a big yeah. win here. Well, that was hilarious. Thank you guys so much. Nadia, Claire, and Thomas. Thanks so much for being on Steve Gadlin's Star Makers. Thanks for Thank having you. us. It's great. Thanks for having us. I love improv because it's really playing without a net. How does it feel to not have any idea what's going to happen until it's coming right out of your mouth? 
Um, it's a lot of fun. I don't know. I think the more you play with your scene partners, the more comfortable you get, and you can just feel each other out. Yeah, initially, it's really scary, but then you get uh, accustomed as the show goes on, and it just becomes really fun. Yep. Well, that's great. Uh, it's so fun to watch, guys. And if you are dealing with custody, child support, visitation, or divorce issues, you'll want to make sure you have Malloy Law LLC in your Rolodex. Give them a call. You sure won't be sorry. Call the number that's on your screen right now. Now stick with us. We have more great acts coming right up. Hi, I'm Steve Gadlin, the host of Steve Gadlin Star Makers. Thanks so much for watching our video. For more of tomorrow's stars of Hollywood and or Broadway, click on my face to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope to see you again.